Hello from Seoul. Are you looking for a perfect meal but simple at the same time? That's why I brought six super easy rice bowl recipes, which are so delicious. You're gonna love them so much. Are you guys ready? Let's get started. As always, let's start with the easiest one, egg rice bowl. I'll say this is the basic of rice bowls and it won't take 5 minutes. If you already have steamed rice, you will be needed egg, onion, and green onion. Well, you can skip green onion but it means a lot to us, right? So I'm not gonna give this up. First, let's chop the onion and the green onion. Slice the onion into thin strips and cut the green onion into small pieces. This time, let's crack 2 eggs into a mixing bowl. Unlike making fluffy scrambled eggs, both the egg egg yolk and the white don't need to be fully beaten. If you cook fully combined eggs for this rice bowl, you can see only yellow in your dish. But if you want to make it prettier and look more professional, just roughly beat the eggs and show the beautiful presentation of white and yellow. Now let's make the sauce. Put a half tablespoon of sugar, one tablespoon of soy sauce, one tablespoon of mirin, three tablespoons of water and mix it. If you add a little bit of dried bonito flakes, this will give us more umami flavor. But I'm gonna skip it this time because I want to show you the simplest. Alright, we are all set. Put some oil in a pan and add sliced onions. Speaking of onion, the longer you cook, the better your dish will be. It's like absolute truth, but if you don't have enough time to stir fry, then stir it until it turns brownish on the outside. I totally understand you are busy. Once you get this color, pour the sauce and boil it. When you see bubbles in the middle, pour the beaten egg around the pan and then put the chopped green onions on top. If you want to cook the egg quickly, you can put the lid on but not too long because if it's fully cooked, it won't be soft and fluffy anymore. Now pour this over the rice and finish it off with some sesame seeds. It's done. Let's call our taste tester. Claire. Wow, it's so pretty. I love green onions on top. Mm, mm, mm. 계란으로만 하니까 엄청 부드럽다. This is so good, but compared to what I usually have, something is missing. It's meat. 고기를 넣어라. The second one is chicken rice bowl. To be honest, the recipe is almost the same as the first one. But the only difference is we need chicken. I recommend using chicken thighs. Since it contains some fat, it will make the rice bowl more flavorful. But for those of you who prefer chicken breast, you can totally go with it too. Also, you can leave the skin or remove it depending on your preference. Personally, I like the skin part only when it's crispy. But unfortunately, we're gonna boil it with a sauce. And I don't think I like it. So for that reason, I'm gonna get rid of this. Now cut the chicken into bite-sized pieces. Slice half of an onion and cut the green onion into small pieces. Also, crack an egg and roughly beat it like the first one. Trust me. This way, you can get a prettier rice bowl. Now let's make the sauce. Put 1 tablespoon of sugar, 1 and a half tablespoons of soy sauce, 1 tablespoon of mirin, 4 tablespoons of water and mix it. This time, I'm gonna add a pinch of dried bonito flakes to make it more flavorful. If you have enough time, It'll be better to boil it once as the sugar perfectly melts in the sauce that's gonna give us a little boost of umami flavor but i'm sure nobody's gonna do that including me but if you know that someday you can show off to somebody like i did a few seconds ago you're gonna look super cool put some oil in a pan and add the chicken sear the surface for a while over medium heat when you see this beautiful golden brown add chopped onions and stir fry it. now pour the sauce we made and boil it just like before when you see bubbles in the middle, add one beaten egg and put chopped green onions on top. Depending on your egg preference, you can increase or reduce the cooking time. When it's done, pour it over the rice nicely. Here's another tip. If you sprinkle some red pepper flakes, it's gonna be more beautiful like a restaurant version. What do you think? Quite fancy, right? Claire? Mm. Ready? Mm. Mm. That's is what I'm talking about. Because there is some chicken in it, it's much more flavorful. 
This time, let's make pork rice ball. Again, this has a pretty similar level of difficulty. So I really want you to try sometime. You will be needed, of course, pork. You can use any cut of pork, but I recommend using thin cuts because if it's too thick, the pork is not gonna be seasoned well. So you're gonna feel two different tastes, meat and the sauce separately. Nobody wants it, right? Also, you need to cook it longer. So make sure to ask a butcher to cut it thinly or you can cut it yourself. And you will be needed onion and green onion. If you have minced ginger, it's even more perfect. Pork and ginger, their combination is unbelievable. For that reason, I usually keep it in the freezer, but if you don't have it, you can just mince a small amount of fresh ginger. About the size of your fingernail would be enough. First, chop the onion and the green onion. For the sauce, put 1 and a half tablespoons of soy sauce, 1 tablespoon of sake, 2 tablespoons of mirin, 1 tablespoon of water, 1 teaspoon of minced garlic, and mix it. Put some oil in a pan and add the pork. For your information, if you are using pork belly, which has a lot of fat, you don't need to put any oil. When the pork is cooked, add chopped onions and a quarter teaspoon of minced ginger. As I said earlier, ginger is optional, but it will definitely upgrade your rice bowl. Now, pour the sauce and let it simmer over high heat. Since we are using thinly sliced meat, it won't take that long. For information, it took me less than 5 minutes. It's super simple and easy, so please give it a shot. Just like before, you can pour the beaten egg here, but I'm not gonna do that. Why? Because a fried egg or a poached egg would be another good option. Since Claire prefers fried eggs, I'm gonna put a sunny side up on top. Alright, it's done. Let's go to our taste tester. Claire. 와 확실히 계란 노른자를 위에다 딱 놓으니까 같은 덮밥인데도 느낌이 확 산다. 어 oh, 맛있다. Look at that. 우. 음. 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 너무 맛있다. 아까 닭으로 만든 것도 맛있긴 맛있었는데 난 이게 더 맛있는 것 같아. 너무 맛있다. 음. 음. So good! And this one is less sweeter than the previous ones. So if you don't like sweet sauce, I strongly recommend this. Mmm, don't waste. This time, I'm gonna make a rice bowl with kimchi. If you are a big fan of kimchi and spicy food, this is it. You're gonna love it so much. You will be needed pork, kimchi, onion, and green onion. I don't think it's gonna happen, but some of you might wanna ask like, Aaron, what if I don't have onions and green onions? I only have kimchi and pork. You don't have onions and green onions, but you have kimchi? You must be Korean. <clears throat> Get back to the point. My answer is yes, you can. These are optional, so don't worry about it. First, chop a quarter of an onion and some green onion. When cutting kimchi, put it in a bowl and cut it with scissors, like me. Otherwise, you will see your mom yelling at you because her precious cutting board may have to be thrown away because of kimchi stains and the smell. You don't want to see that, right? Then please use your scissors, but not the one from your office. Now, we're gonna make the sauce. Put 1 teaspoon of Korean chili pepper flakes, a half tablespoon of sugar, 1 tablespoon of soy sauce, a half tablespoon of minced garlic, 1 tablespoon of Korean chili paste, 5 tablespoons of water and mix it. Put some chopped pork belly on a pan and grill it. When it starts to sizzle, add chopped onions and kimchi. When they are cooked, pour the sauce and boil it for a while. Some of you might want to ask, Aaron, how long should I boil it? It's all up to you. If you prefer to have a moist and heavy sauce, boil it shorter. But if you want dry and light one, boil it longer until most of the liquid has evaporated. Just follow your heart. It's all depending on your taste. It's not a baking class. Don't worry about it. At this point, I'm gonna turn off the heat and pour this over the rice. As I said earlier, the beauty of rice bowls is the egg on top. So don't forget to make fried eggs. Claire. I'm sorry, egg yolk. Woo. Mm. Mm. Ready? Also, the thing I like about this is the crunchiness and the juice coming from the kimchi. If you are a kimchi lover, I strongly recommend this. Kimchi가 덜 익어가지고 조금 그게 아쉽다. 근데 너무 맛있어 그래도. 
Guys, I recommend you to use well fermented kimchi, okay? The next one that I'm gonna make is mushroom rice ball. Let me surprise you with no meat. You will be needed various kinds of mushrooms, onion, and bell peppers. First, slice mushrooms into bite-sized pieces. I'm gonna use four kinds of mushrooms. Shiitake mushrooms, button mushrooms, oyster mushrooms, and enoki mushrooms. It doesn't have to be this many kinds. You can either make it with what you have at the moment. I'm just using many kinds to make a better presentation for you guys. So don't worry about it. As always, just use what you have in your kitchen. Next, bell pepper. To be honest, they don't affect the taste much, but they're gonna give gorgeous colors to your dish. That's why I'm using three kinds. If you're not trying to score some brownie points with your girlfriend or boyfriend, you can just use only one color. But if you need a picture for Instagram, go for it. It will definitely work. If you're done slicing the onion, all the vegetables are ready. This time, let's make the sauce. Put 1 tablespoon of chicken stock, 1 teaspoon of oyster sauce, 5 tablespoons of water in a mixing bowl, and mix it. There's one more we need to prepare. Put 1 tablespoon of potato starch and 1 tablespoon of water in a separate bowl, and mix it. Since we're gonna thicken the sauce, we need this starch water. For information, you can also use cornstarch or sweet potato starch, so don't worry too much. Now, put some oil in a pan and add the mushrooms. It's better to stir fry them over high heat, otherwise a lot of liquid will come off from the mushrooms. When the mushrooms are 80% cooked, pour the rest of the vegetables and stir fry again. If you are a meat lover like me, you can add beef or pork strips here, even seafood too. Then that's gonna be more flavorful, right? Now add a pinch of salt and a little bit of black pepper and pour the sauce we made and boil it. Lastly, I'm gonna add some starch water. Since we made earlier, I'm sure there must be starch on the bottom, so make sure to mix it again before you add it. Add 1 or 2 tablespoons of starch water and quickly stir it. Otherwise, you will find some kind of big jelly in your rice bowl. Now, all you need to do is just pouring this over the rice. But if you prefer noodles to steamed rice, you can pour this over the noodles. There's no correct answer in cooking. Try it in many ways. All right, let's call our taste tester. Claire? Wow, look at that. Is it four? <laughs> Ready. If you thought I don't like this because there is no meat in it, no, 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 no. You're wrong. It's really, really good. As you guys know, mushrooms have chewy texture, and I love chewy texture. And as you can see, he put a lot of mushrooms, so it's more fun to eat. Mm. The last one is steak rice bowl. A few years ago, it was so popular in Korea, so I'm gonna show you how to make it. What you need is a steak. You can use any cut of beef you like, or the one in your fridge. For information, I'm gonna use saloin today. And you will be needed onion, egg, and wasabi. Actually, this wasabi is optional, but if you are a big fan of wasabi, please get one from the supermarket. It won't let you down. First of all, gently wipe any excess moisture with some paper towers. This will promote the Maya reaction so your steak will be much more flavorful. Next, let's get seasoning on our steak with salt and pepper. Sprinkle enough salt and pepper over the steak. Actually, we need to wait for at least 40 minutes at room temperature. But let's just start cooking now. We're not making 3 Michelin star restaurant dish or something, right? This time, slice the onion. Half of an onion would be enough. Let's make the sauce now. Put 2 tablespoons of sugar, 5 tablespoons of soy sauce, 3 tablespoons of mirin, 2 tablespoons of sake in a bowl. If you don't have sake, you can add some white wine. If you don't have white wine either, just go for water. No worries. Now, add a half tablespoon of oyster sauce sauce or steak sauce. Today, I'm gonna go with oyster sauce. I have a great feeling about this. Now, let's sear the steak. For information, it's recommended to use a stainless pan or a cast iron pan. But we're making something easy and simple, right? So I'm just gonna use a non-stick pan today. Let's talk about how to cook perfect steak in another episode. Not this time. 
Personally, for this saloon, medium rare is the best, but it's not a universal rule or something, so you can cook the steak depending on your preference. When you're done pan frying, let it rest. It's not an exact figure, but normally, you'll be alright if you rest your steak for half of your cooking time. While resting the steak, let's pour the sauce and the onions into the pan. While it's boiling, cut the steak into bite-sized pieces. How you cut it is not important. Some restaurants cut it thinly, like mine, or other restaurants cut it into cubes. So you can cut it any way you like. Drain the onions and place them on the rice nicely. Cover it with the steak one by one and drizzle the remaining sauce. Now, if you put egg yolk on top, it's done. For information, in Korea, since there's an egg disinfection process, people don't have to worry about getting a salmonella infection. But if you are living outside of Korea, I recommend putting a poached egg on top. If you add green color with our favorite green onions and wasabi, you'll be even prettier. Alright, it's done. Let's call our taste tester. Claire? Uh, wow. Guys, our house smells incredible. I feel like I'm in a steakhouse or something. Steak, onion, and lastly, wasabi on top. Mm. Mm. Wow. Mm. If you eat a steak and eat Today, I made 6 kinds of rice balls. As you can see, they are quite simple and easy to make. I'm sure you can make it in 10 minutes, so how about trying each from Monday to Saturday? It's gonna be the happiest week of your life. Alright, this is it for today, and I'll see you next time.